Okay, in the four to five hours that we were gone, this is heading uh, upstream, the way we went on our trip, about two miles from the boat ramp. And while we were gone for those four and five hours, this tree came down and pretty much totally blocked the whole river. And there's no way if I'd have gone through that point straight ahead here, right through there to the right of that tree coming up off the branch, I would have had to go through there about 20 mile an hour and the entire boat would have gone airborne because that, that, that tree is probably about six inches above the water. You can't see from this angle. So what we did, Dot said there might be a way to go around the other side, and I said, well, there isn't. Well, between the uh, 20 horsepower motor and a darn good boat, we bulled our way back behind this stuff, and we came out right about in there. And I aged 10 years. Uh, it was just unbelievable. So while we were gone, this damn tree came down and blocked the river. If we if we got if, if if this had been done on our way down the stream here, upstream, when we first started out, we just would have turned around and gone gone someplace else. Because there's virtually no way to get through this thing. But like I said, we went around back behind all of this stuff. And we came out over there. Unbelievable. Just totally unbelievable. Still can't believe it. I'll be having nightmares about this. <laughs> so, like I said, we're about two miles from, the, from where we put in. A mile and a half, two miles. Oh, crazy, 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 crazy.